Going to pay for this somehow. But I got to tell you, for the third day in a row, it'll be, well, second day in a row to be above 70 during February, and three days really? ago was in the 60s. Oh, we got nothing like that. Well, that's the... Yeah, it's gonna be sixty-three. Yeah, I was telling my wife, <clears throat> you can expect snow in May. I, <clears throat> yeah, there's I no mean, way there's no payback for this, you know. Where the mosquitoes this is Colorado are going to the size of softballs. Yeah, exactly. We'll pay for it, yeah, but no you know good. what? What do they say? Win in Rome. I don't know. Wear shorts, something like that. This is the winter I always wanted. Yeah, it's a it's a Southern California winter, at least as of right now. Something maybe. Hey, the mountains around L.A. and San Francisco are going to get snow. Payback time. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not expensive to live. <laughs> oh, well. ah, but here we are. It's, yeah. it's a Thursday, late February. The uh, Leading to the credence that Teams 2.0 will show up next month uh, walking cat as he or she i should say has done has found the apps but oh. if you try to log into them you get blocked okay. so so i know i know this is true anyway I, did yeah, I yeah. Already, yeah. <clears throat> all right but yeah. the apps are quasi yeah out <clears throat> there so yeah i mean if you had to make a list of what's wrong with the teams and i think we could all agree it'd be a pretty big list um I think the size of the app and its sluggishness and its unreliability would sluggishness be sluggishness is the somewhere right up in there. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, but uh, yeah. I don't know. You Good. still can't switch accounts easily, and so you know they'll, right. they're going to solve the big problems or something, or not. You never know. I mean, it could come out be worse than the <laughs> current iteration. It is a Microsoft. Yeah, I still think it was irresponsible to ship this thing without any form of Skype integration yeah that that one still doesn't make sense like you could have one chat app to rule them all but uh <clears throat> yeah yeah one one chat app from the company that makes both chat apps or i guess all three chat apps i don't know they're turning into a google right because they keep like that's their new thing what did they just launch a bing chat app now you're not chatting with a human you're a human-like sure. thing but listen i've chatted with people i i'm better off with ai honestly <laughs> I, you know yeah no hard feelings at least the computer sort of understands us, or at least is. Right. Has a better understanding of my mentalness. Yeah, I, I think that's... I didn't want to say it out loud, but that's... It's okay. So that, that's, where, that's where we are. What else is going on? Not a... Well, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> probably today, I'd like to write something about this uh, Activision Blizzard thing and the mm -hmm. EU and Microsoft's you know, defense, which... Um, I don't understand arguing against this acquisition. I just, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, I, I think it's a, a sign of a, a strong mind that if you uh, get additional information that contradicts your beliefs, you change your mind. And, uh, you know, we all try to do that, I hope. But um, I, I've, just, I've never seen a single shred of anything that's made me think, yeah, okay, maybe this shouldn't go through. Like, it's just, you know, uh, they... They, you know, this has been interesting for people that follow Microsoft and or Xbox on a couple of levels. One is there's always been this kind of understanding that Xbox was 50% of PlayStation on the best of days. Mm -hmm. It's less than that, actually. Uh, I think the average is globally is about 30%. Uh, and what I mean by that is, something like revenue slash units sold slash whatever it is, you know, uh, market dominance, whatever you want to call it, um, market share, you know, whatever. Um, so that's interesting. Um, and then there's that whole notion of um, exclusives and how Sony is like, we don't want them to be all, you know, we don't need another company with more exclusives. And it's like, um, math? Mm -hmm. I mean, look at, look at what you're doing, you know. So I find that kind of stuff very interesting. Also, Microsoft basically said, not interested in divesting of Call of Duty like we want the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Thing. I mean, that would be... Yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. why No, but I mean, they, cut, you know, they said it. Like, in other words, when the UK came out with that, it was like, oh, that's, that's an interesting wrinkle I never really considered. Microsoft has sort of stated, like, look, this isn't the reason we're doing it. But, you know, it is a reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, it's a big like one. 30 uh, of the $70 billion reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Call of Duty .corp would be a pretty big company all by it itself be. for sure. Yeah. 
It yep. really would be. Yep, we'll see. Uh, I think, is it April 11th? The EU is supposed to issue a ruling, something around that time. I don't remember, yeah. But they could delay it. They could come out early. Although the EU is not known to issue rulings like this early. They're not quick. No. Uh, I, I have a lot of... Well, I have a lot of feelings about the EU. I was going to say a lot of positive feelings. I guess I have a lot of feelings. I have some are positive, some are not so positive. But they're um, they're slow. <laughs> they are. The wheels of justice are not swift, Throt, even if they're rolling downhill. <laughs> yep, they're not. They're not fast. Yeah, they do. They they when they do act, uh, they are rather dis, uh, d- uh, decisive. I yeah. mean, I'll give them that. I. But man, it takes a. It takes a long time to get there. Hey, at least they're getting us USB-C iPhones. Um, so yes. We, we can thank yeah. them for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah also, I, I was just thinking about that this morning. I was reading about the various rumors and stuff around the I, iPhone 15 and USB-C ports and the new size of the screen and dynamic island and blah, 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 blah whatever. And, and whether, or you not, whether or not you agree that the removal of the notch and the appearance of dynamic island on all of the models constitutes... Mm-hmm. No more notch. I would argue this thing is technically still a notch, but whatever. I mean, how many years did that take? But that's that to me is a textbook example. Like when Apple and um, re, um, unveiled the first iPhone with a notch, which must have been the iPhone 10. Like, I mean, was that five? That must have been five years ago, right? Like when that yeah. happened, you had to look at that and say, "Yep, we're going to be dealing with this for five to seven years." Like, there's no doubt about it. You know, mm-hmm. no doubt about it. And uh, and by the way, it could still come back if they make another SE model. I would expect yeah. that thing to have a notch, right? I mean, but that's Apple. Like they go down a path, like they do something bad, like the butterfly keyboard, and you know, like they'll probably fix this eventually. But man, it's going to be several years. You know, they just don't move quick. They're on the EU schedule. You know, they really um, they really milk that kind of stuff. I mean, what else are they going to do? Like, you th- let, let's just pretend that yeah. they got rid of the notch and it was just perfect. And then it's right. like, what's the next thing? Well, right? yeah. I, so, yeah, but what you just said is right. I mean, I, it's correct, right? But it also betrays the reality of what Apple does, which is they market this thing like we all we care about are our customers, blah, 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 and we protect your privacy, nonsense, whatever. But what they really care about is the bottom line. And mm-hmm. you don't make – when this is a, a company that often makes these bad decisions and then just sticks by them because it would be expensive not to. Uh, not because do, not doing it would be the right thing to do for customers, right? And it's that's I, I think it's just a healthy reminder that this gigantic corporation, the biggest company in the world, is a gigantic corporation, and those things exist to make money. Yep. And uh, I know everyone sort of knows. I mean, I, like obviously, Paul, but I mean, I, people seem to hold this thing up as some kind of a altruistic entity that's out there to protect your privacy and, and well-being and all that. And, and I'm sorry, but you got to remember the bottom line here. And it's it, whatever. This is nothing profound. It, but it, it's just when they do make these bad decisions, and the two examples I just used, like the notch of the keyboard, uh, you just know you're in for several years. Like mm-hmm. this is like we're not stepping back from this. Like there's no there's no moment. Like, for example, something that could happen with Microsoft and Bing AI and all this stuff is literally today, tomorrow, whatever, they could be like, you know what? We're sorry. We, we pushed this thing out too early. It's unreliable. It's unstable. We're going to keep working on it, and we're going to pull it, right? I'm not saying they will, they, but there was a fascinating um, editorial in New York Times today about how this thing violates six of Microsoft's seven AI ethical standards that they published in 2017. Like right now, <laughs> it is violating six of seven, and um, that is atypical for Microsoft, I would hope, and. Anyway, I guess my point is not that they will do it, but that it's a possibility. It's a possibility that Microsoft will walk away from this Activision Blizzard deal, to use another Microsoft uh, thing. There is no possibility Apple will ever step back immediately from a bad design decision <laughs> because it's in hardware. Yeah. And it's just too expensive mm-hmm. to walk back a mistake. You know? Well, not, and that's, not to the, mention, that's... I know with Surface, they're typically, like right now, they're not working on product coming out next year. It's like they're two to three years out minimum. Yeah. So when yeah. you've committed to the notch or lack mm-hmm. of notch, whatever we're calling the dynamic, oh, there's a whole whatever. industry you have to rev up, right, to make this stuff. Yeah. Like you can't just, you can't just yeah. walk away because it's, you've already committed yep. 
financially Actually, to produce. Surface things. is a good example because Microsoft, you can see the Appleness of Microsoft there, and it's a hardware issue, right? The they make bad decisions like uh, you like not going to USB C for many years, mm -hmm. and that's what happens. It's many years. Yep. <laughs> you know, um, they, they they can explain it, uh, and they explain it in customer friendly terms. Um, we, we're just not seeing demand from our customers. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. You know what I mean? It's like they they make it seem like they're doing it for you, mm -hmm. you know, which is what Apple's doing. And that, and and that maybe that's the point. It's that Apple is a company. It's it's no different than other companies. It happens to make hardware, and hardware makes it hard to step back mistakes, because you know, like you, it, for the, some of the reasons you just mentioned, um, there's a years long effort that occurs, and it's like you know, the, the, I guess the problem is when you make that bad decision in the beginning, you've just impacted. You're not impacting this season. You're impacting. Oh yeah. Y years. If it's software, you've got obviously yep. more flexibility to try to fix it and make it be less right. awful. But yep, when you got a hole in your LCD display, like you can't. Well, that's the other part of it, right? So it. now that we have this dynamic island thing, actually, you know, the the Touch Bar on the Mac Pro is another great example of this. And I feel like the dynamic island is to the iPhone what the Touch Bar was to the Mac MacBook, and um, we'll be dealing with that one for several years. Mm -hmm. And and every once in a while, there'll be some. Some company, some Spotify, somebody will come up with something. We're like, oh, see, look, look, look that, that's why it makes sense. But you know what's going to make more sense? Not having anything on the screen. <laughs> you know, like having the camera be below the screen and not seeing it. That will make even more sense. So we Here's my prediction, Paul Thrott. Now, but Yeah. We will have a base on the moon before we have a whatever, <laughs> islandless iPhone. Oh, my God. <laughs> I might not take that bet. <laughs>